Hi, this is Pastor Greg Floyd from Cowboy Church Australia. That's down under. What a wonderful country we live in. What I'd like to do is open up a conversation about some things that God is speaking to me about. And he's speaking to everyone all over the world. It's the exciting times when the voice of God is not silent for those who diligently seek him, those who thirst after the mysteries of Christ. The word is the couple of words he's given me is that, Greg, this is the season of the war of the word. And I don't think you need to be, you know, a scholar to understand that what is going on at the moment about lies and truth is pretty normal. <laughs> it has always been there. It started in the garden when Eve so easily was bewildered by a lie that perceived to be a truth. We live in this place. We're here to design and designed and set free through salvation of Christ to bring as it is in heaven, it is on earth. We're the representations of that. We're, we're not to be seen or respond to a worldview with a worldview. We respond with the authority and the power and the grace and the love of our Lord Jesus Christ. So what I'd like to do is put some scriptures out there that paint a small picture of and there's many scriptures but i'm only going to bring three at the moment that paint the picture of who we are our identity and what's lacking in the body at the moment i believe is that we've built the institution but we haven't built the individual because the church is you and me it's not the institution the institution is the university as i've said many of times so here's the scriptures that i'd like to put out there second peter one four and these are the passion translations as a result of this he has given you magnificent promises that are beyond all price so that through the power of these tremendous promises you can experience partnership with the divine nature by which you have escaped the corrupt desires that are of this world we aren't of this world and we're not meant to be we can't be a new creation. We can't be resurrected with Christ and be the same. Romans 8.1. This is the King James. There is therefore no condemnation to them that which are in Christ Jesus. The problem is that we usually stop there and we don't follow on in the verse. And if we follow on in the verse, we find the truth of the matter in the verse. There is no, there is therefore now, no, sorry. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. So we could apply that right now to the don't react to worldviews with worldviews, that we react with the answer, the solution. And at times, of course, that is prayer is our first position that should be always our default position but we are spiritual beings we're not worldly and that out the authority that dwells on the inside of us is christ jesus we're his ambassadors here we are the change so an important scripture colossians 3 once again the translate uh, the passion translation christ's resurrection is your resurrection too this is why we are to yearn for all that is above, for that's where Christ sits, enthroned at the place of all power, honour and authority. Yes, feast on all the treasures of a heavenly realm and fill your thoughts with heavenly realities and not with the distractions of the natural realm. Your crucifixion with Christ has severed the tie to this life and now your life is hidden away in Christ in God, in Christ. And as Christ himself is seen for who he really is, who you really are will be also be revealed for you are now one with him in his glory. So God has all the tools that's given us. I'm not trying to train this flesh or my, I'm trying to train my soul, my mind, will and emotions by acting in the spirit. But the flesh is discarded. It's not even relevant. We shouldn't even mention it because the word tells us it's dead. 
So that's the discussion I want to open up in um, about our identity. And that is our Achilles heel. That is the damage that um, has been done to us when our identity has been stolen from us. And I'm not talking about the body. I'm not talking about the world. I'm talking about those that believe that settle. Yesterday's manna isn't enough to sustain us in the next manner because God is growing us. So as we grow and mature, we carry more and we have more responsibility to minister his vision, his heart for this world. So there it is. I've kept it pretty short this time. So open up discussion, but we've got another video following.